What if you wanted to read from a file that isn't a text file? If we try to read a zip file using the built-in open function in Python with the default read mode, we'll get an error. We get an error because zip files aren't text files, they're binary files. To read from a binary file, we need to open it with the mode RB instead of the default mode of RT. Now, when you read from a binary file, you won't get back strings, you'll get back a bytes object, also known as a byte string. Byte strings don't have characters in them, they have bytes in them. The bytes in a file won't help us very much unless we understand what they mean. You probably won't read a binary file yourself very often. Typically, instead, you'll use a library, either built into Python or a third-party library, that specifically knows how to work with the type of file you're working with and decode those bytes into something that's useful. For example, Python's zip file module can help us read data that's within a zip file. So it's best to avoid implementing your own byte checking or byte manipulation logic yourself if someone has already done that work for you. But sometimes you'll work with a library or an API that requires you to work at the byte level directly. In that case, you'll want to have at least a little bit of familiarity with binary files and byte strings. For example, let's say we'd like to calculate the SHA-256 checksum of a given file. So this function does that. It reads all of the binary data within this file, so all the bytes in this file, and it's reading bytes because the functions in Python's hashlib module work with bytes. They work at the byte level, at a low level, rather than at the text level. So we're passing in all the bytes to get a hash object, and then we're calling the hex digest method on that hash object to get back a string of hexadecimal characters that represent the checksum of this file. Now, there's a problem with this function right now. With a really big file, we'll read all of our bytes in that file into memory all at once, which could take up a lot of memory. With a text file, the usual way to solve this problem would be to read line by line. But binary files don't necessarily have lines, so we can't read line by line. Instead, we could try to read chunk by chunk. So we're reading eight kilobyte chunks from this file. We make a hash object, and then we read one eight kilobyte chunk. We're doing that by passing the number of bytes that we like to the read method on our file object. But we only get one chunk here. We need to get all of our chunks. So we'll loop taking each chunk and updating our hash object and then reading another chunk. As long as we're not at the end of our file, we'll have a truthy chunk that we get back. But when we read at the very end of our file, we'll get back an empty byte string, which will be falsy, which breaks out of our loop and allows us to return the hex digest just like we did before. So this function works just like before, but instead of reading our entire file into memory, we're reading chunk by chunk. Now this is one place where people sometimes use an assignment expression. If you're reading data repeatedly within a while loop, this is actually a pretty good opportunity to use this assignment expression, also known as a walrus operator. It looks a little bit weird, but it does save us a few lines of code. When you read a binary file in Python, you'll get back bytes. When you're reading a large binary file, you'll probably want to read it chunk by chunk. But it's best to avoid reading binary files yourself if you can. If there's a third-party library that can help you read that file, you should probably use that instead.